Hello and welcome to Up The Villa podcast and welcome to AVFC News Daily, brand new feature coming to the channel each day when there's a bit of Villa news. We will be on here talking about everything to do with Aston Villa and to kick it off, to start the concept off, Christian Perslow has stepped down as Aston Villa CEO and director Big, big, big news, uh, and what a way to kick off the new concept on Up The Villa podcast. So if you are new, drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and get on this journey with us. So Perslow is gone, stepped down, nudged, kicked out the room, kicked out the club. Um, it feels like, he, to me, he hasn't stepped down. I think he's been nudged. I think he's been sort of told it's time is up, the journey is over. But, you know, I think to start off with, I think we've got to do him a little bit of credit. We've got to talk about the good things that he's done. Christian Perslow came to Aston Villa when NSWE took over the club. It was in September when they when he arrived and he took over the club and we'd been promoted. And Perslow's done a lot of good things. I think he's done a lot of good things behind the scenes. I think he's been instrumental to getting Aston Villa, you know, in order. I think when he arrived, it was a championship club. And when he's left, we've been a club that's back in Europe. So I think behind the scenes, he's obviously done some really good things. I think he's been instrumental behind the scenes, you know, getting the the rebound vamp and the plans for the new North stand. I think that's been, you know, something that he's been working on. He's been working with Andy Street, getting that relationship going off field. But I think fundamentally it broke down and it started to break down when he started to meddle in footballing matters, such as appointing Steven Gerrard. I think that was the start of his downward trajectory at Aston Villa. I think it was Perslow who really wanted Gerard to come in. He was sort of acting as if he was a Gerard sort of fanboy, wasn't he? I think he saw the Gerard name. He saw the Gerard lights. He saw that this was his moment to sort of stamp his authority on his reign at Aston Villa. And I think from that moment, it broke down. I think when the results weren't happening when when the form was dropping. I think that relationship with the owners, I think, started to sort of have cracks. And I think it just broke down from that moment. I don't think that the Sky interview with, uh, I think it was it, Beth Rigby, I don't think that put him in a really good light with the owners. I think it was a bit of a, a, a weird interview to have. It felt like... I'm the man, I'm running the show, this is my club, look what I've got. And I just think that also added to uh, his breakdown relationship with the owners. I think it was really telling on the last day of the season when Perslow was nowhere to be seen and it was NSWE and Unai Emery walking around the pitch. I think to me that showed unity, showed a great... Uh, solidarity. It showed that we mean business. I employed Unai Emery and uh, Nassif Sawiris. I'm the man. It's my club. This is how we're doing things. And I mean, look what it showed. I mean, in November, Nassif Sawiris went out, got his man, got Unai Emery, got the job done, got the top target. And we haven't looked back since, have we? It was an absolute masterstroke to get an elite manager, and I think the club is going in a totally different direction now. We see Chris Heck coming in. He's going to be working now on the business side of things. We're now looking at getting another sporting director. Monchi is being looked at from Seville. So off-field, there's a complete reshape and a restructure off-field Aston Villa, and it looks like we're now starting to look like we're trying to go into an elite elite club mentality. The business side with Chris Heck is going to be sorted out. Sporting director side, someone who can come in and work alongside Unai Emery and have that partnership. And I just think 
we're just evolving as a club now. And I think we have got to be thankful of what Perslo achieved. You know, he got us back into the Premier League. He has done some really good things. I think nobody can discourage him of the things that he probably has done off-field. But the on-field meddling is what irked a lot of fans. And when you start meddling and you want to be bolshy about bringing someone in and it doesn't work then ultimately the finger lies with somebody. And I think that one lied with Christian Perslow. And I think the owners sort of thought enough was enough here. We've got to sort of step in and take control. So if we have a look at the um, statement, Christian Perslow is stepping down from his position as CEO and director. I think he's been nudged. Uh, he joined Aston Villa in September 2018, shortly after NSWE acquired controlling interest from the club. Uh, the owners have said, uh, we would like to thank Christian for his outstanding leadership of the club over the last five seasons. He's overseen the transformation of the club, both on and off the pitch, and delivered the ambitious turnaround plan he presented to us when he arrived in 2018. We are grateful for all he has done. Perslow has said, it has been a total privilege to lead Villa for the last five years. I'm proud that I leave the club in such a better position on and off the pitch when I arrived. We are re-established in the Premier League. We are now a very competitive professional women's team. We have outstanding academies for boys and girls. We have created a world-class training facility uh, ground and secured planning permission for an expansion of a modernisation of our wonderful stadium. Thank you to everyone at Aston Villa and the supporters who made my time here enjoyable. So there we have it. Christian Herslow has left Aston Villa. And I guess now it will be about how we go about uh, creating an elite, elite Aston Villa off field. And I think the ball has already started for that. So maybe Monchi will be coming in as a sporting director off the back of this announcement as well. So there we go. ABFC News Daily has brought you some big, big news. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy this concept whenever there's some Villa news. Uh, transfer news, we'll try and tie it all in together. We're still sticking with transfer hubs, so transfer hubs for players that are linked are going to be over there. Uh, and then when we start talking about rumours, and maybe say we're linked with a Goncalves, we've done a transfer hub, but the summit new bubbling away will be here over on AVFC News Daily talking about that as well. So more content for you guys. Absolutely love it. Thank you for watching. Drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, up the villa.